This is Duke University. How do we make distance shrink? How do we collaborate with each other asynchronously around the world? How do we use technology to make education even better? Duke is a place that gets it. It understands the way modern technology infused with real substance can make a real difference for how education happens or how research happens. Students need to have a global imagination if they're going to be leaders in any vocation in the 21st century. What we really want to do is think of Duke as being a networked global presence. Not campus here and single spot there, but actually a network in which will be the largest node but they will have these other nodes, and technology is going to enable that. I'm a firm believer that you have to have as powerful a network as possible so that you don't limit things from the start. You can't go on to do strategic and innovative projects unless people know reliably day to day that you've got basic underlying infrastructure from pervasive wireless to voice over IP to mail systems that are up 24-7. In a university, you're never interested in technology as an end in itself. You're always interested in it as a means to the end of education and its many challenges. Technology cannot be seen as a solution. It is never the solution to the problem. But it can enormously enhance how we can arrive at solutions. First of all, we can bring teams together across much greater distances. So you can get the right people combined across greater distances with greater efficiency. Second of all, you can stagger those interactions in more effective ways. I don't have to do everything synchronically, I can also do it asynchronically. We've been experimenting with these asynchronous collaboration tools that will allow us to bring together teams of people, to share material online, to click a button and call somebody, to share videos. These are all ways uh, that we'll be able to bring the campus together. Increasingly, what we're finding are uh, courses that are experimenting in the way the information is delivered outside of class, and then a change in dynamic of what's occurring in the classroom. Then we can think about the classroom time as being much more the interactive, students working in group, group-based learning, faculty assisting and guiding, but not lecturing to students necessarily. Duke has done a really good job of making smart use of technology and that's going to be one of the key differences between universities especially as we start doing some of this globalizing the institution we have to make better use of collaborative technology because we can't just walk down the hall to talk to somebody language is the principal tool we have for bringing minds together but now it turns out that other forms of technology are able to amplify the power of language and bring more minds together in more ways online at duke.edu.